Mr. Trump also continued his baseless claims over the accuracy of the U.S. election, calling into a hearing held by supporters. This was an election that we won easily. We won it by a lot. Uh, a big energy uh, official was on this morning uh, on a uh, important show and said there's no way Trump didn't win Pennsylvania because the energy industry was all for him. Shola and Scotty are with us. Ladies, uh, good morning to you. Shola, to you, first of all, this morning. Um, that wasn't a concession speech by any stretch of the imagination, but nevertheless, he has agreed to start handing over to Biden. That's right. Look, I've come to the conclusion that Donald Trump is addicted to losing, I mean, defeat after defeat. I mean, as, as much as I get pleasure from it, it is really, humi hu I think, totally embarrassing for the United States. His lawsuits are being thrown out of court. Even his own staunch political Republican supporters call it humiliating. And you have to bear it in mind. I really think people, are, whichever side of the argument you, you stand on, you need to bear this in mind that Trump's lawyers, don't plead, argue, or allege fraud in the court of law. Even when they are directly asked by a judge, they can't answer or provide any evidence or proof. They only allege fraud in the court of public opinion, where they know that their followers will swallow the lies and misinformation hook, line, and sinker. They have no basis. It's all absolutely political, uh, you know, theatrics, as you just watched now with Donald Trump calling in into that so-called hearing, which wasn't a hearing, uh, to claim that he won by a lot. Well, you know what? Um, Biden won by a lot, and 80 million Americans have repudiated Trumpism and everything that Trump stands for. And quite frankly, that's all that matters. Okay. I think to Trump's dying day, he's going to continue to claim the election was stolen from him. It wasn't. It was won fair and square. Okay. Scotty, uh, lots for you to chew over there. There is a lot to chew on that one. Let's start off with, with Joe Biden himself. Yes, congratulations. He is the most successful, most popular president ever elected in the United States, which, you know, for the last two years, all we've heard about is voter suppression. Well, I guess there's no such thing as voter suppression, because here you have Joe Biden, who did very little on the campaign trail, the most popular president ever elected over Barack Obama, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, JFK. Take your pick. Uh, we are now looking at the most popular president. I think that's where the question is, because most Americans are looking at this, just kind of shaking their heads, going, Going. The numbers don't add up. Do I agree that in the end, probably Joe Biden in January will be inaugurated? Probably at this point, a lot because of the failures of the Trump uh, legal team in this case. But you can't look at what happened in the Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania today and go, there are some major questions that are being raised. I mean, when you're looking at it, even the crowd had to laugh at the fact that when they said the spikes that were coming in or the witness said, you know, over, you looked at 570. Uh, 600,000 votes came in, 570,000 of those spikes were Joe Biden. And in the rest, only 3,200 of those were Donald Trump. You know, the questions, the numbers just aren't adding up. There's lots of questions to it. There's not transparency being held. I agree. But I do find it laughable that the Democrats are going, oh, don't prosecute this in the court of public, uh, public opinion. That's the entire thing has been about the court of public opinion to Democrats the last four years, is trying to prosecute all sorts of falsehoods against Donald Trump. And in large part, that's one of the reasons why we're in this battle today. People don't, people have a lot of doubt right now in this system, in main part because Democrats have inspired it over the the last four years. Shola? Not true. Not true at all. The person who inspired um, undermining Russia democracy. Gay. The Donald is, Trump is a foreign excuse agent. Me, is Donald Ultimate Trump lie. started with the Bertha Gate lying about Obama, trying to undermine the legitimacy of his presidency. So I'm sorry, it's Trump and Republicans that started the undermining of, of, of U.S. democracy and undermining the president of the, US, of the United States. So please don't pack what at the, at the Democrats' gate, what is clearly the Republicans' fault and what they've been doing from day one. And can I just can I just say this, Scotty? You sound like one of those kids that moans about, oh, not winning or not passing a test because you did not see somebody else study hard. So the fact that, that the Biden ran a campaign that was, I don't know, socially distanced, and he did not want to put Americans at risk, means that it is impossible or was the number for one over 80 million Americans People were to gonna be able stand to with him.
You need to understand this. This is not about popularity of Biden. It's about rejection right, of it's Trump. It's not about popularity. It's about how many that, that votes you can get. The 18 million, over 18 million Americans that voted were rejecting Trump. That is what, that's the no, bottom line. I, People I got up their butt. People left their homes to make sure that Donald Trump no, is kicked out of the White House. House. That is what happened. They didn't actually leave their home to go vote. Overnight, I don't know if you caught this, but in California, the Republicans flipped yet another House seat. So you cannot say that overwhelming the conservative Republican agenda isn't alive and well in America. The Republicans gained. There was a huge red wave. Where we lost that was mail-in voting, oddly, only at the top of the ticket. But down ticket, Republicans won across the board and will continue to have that. Honestly, so once again, the Scotty, only place where- Hold on, Shola, Shola, hold on, Shola, hold on, Shola, hold on, Scotty, go. Fraud. Well, the only place where Democrats right now can claim that they actually had a victory is in the White House. Obviously, that's the most important race. But it came down to cities where there were large scale accusations of voter discrepancy, voter suppression and voter fraud. And all of them overwhelmingly were in the hands of Joe Biden. Like I said, I think he's going to be inaugurated in large part because of failures of the Trump legal team to prosecute their case correctly within the court of law. Maybe they were focused in the court of public opinion. But at this point, you have to look at some of these questions that were raised. And that's, and, and the Democrats are not doing a good job in showing full transparency of why those questions questions are not getting the answers besides just the fact that Joe Biden won. Okay, let me help you out with this. I think you're misleading the viewers here. Let me, let's just explain this. Um, Trump is trying to disenfranchise millions of American voters. And those 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 places you say yes. all of a sudden there seem to be a rise of voters for Biden, those were particularly and mostly ethnic minorities. So black Americans, Latino Americans who voted more for Biden than they did for Trump. You want to disenfranchise all of the voters. That is wrong. That is wrong. It is shameful that in 2016, when Trump had a whole lot more votes, and a lot of them also came in by mailing ballots, you had no issue with that. In fact, the Democrats did not cause this whole stink that Donald Trump is doing right now. So look, bottom line is, you, American needs to be focused on going forward. Okay, final thought from you, Scotty, go on. Hold on, Shola, final thought from you, Scotty, go on. Well, I mean, I think this is laughable because the last four years, that's all the Democrats have done since the day Trump was elected to say that he was not so he was not pro properly elected as the president of the United States. They've done everything to say, not my president. When it comes down to it, President Trump has been just like Joe Biden will probably be the president for the next four years. But Democrats are going to have to do a better issue, better job of transparency, or they're going to have to deal with the overwhelming large number of Americans who did support President Trump and feel like that they were unfairly and unjustly their voices were ignored. Uh, I'm by sorry, but mail -in votes and all of this. You cannot have it both ways, Shola. You cannot nobody say that Joe Biden said, was nobody said and then Trump was not my president. It doesn't work. The nobody said Trump up. is not my Just president like because of both. Okay. People said Trump is not my president because of his position, because of his divisiveness, because of his racism, his xenophobia, and his misogyny. Well, That's very different Donald from Donald Trump voting. and any other Republican yeah. in history. Not my you can't I'm glad to see, ladies, ladies, I'm glad to see that finally you've agreed, or not. It's good to see you, as always, and we'll see you at the same time next week. They get more fan mail than I do, significantly more. They're amazing, aren't they?